Okay, uh, serious question this time, whether anybody can hear me or not. I know it's been a while since uh, I've asked that and not known that they're not suspected the answer would be yes, but this time um, I really got to check to see if you guys can hear me. And uh, if it's like super lagged, I guess you wouldn't know from my voice because you can't really see my head that well, if at all. But uh, let's take a look here. See if I am at least audible. Good, okay, good. So I am audible, we got that going for us. We'll figure out whether it's laggy or not uh, as we go. I guess pretty much in sync is what I'm hearing from Pat, thanks. Um, so, all right then, uh, we might as well get rolling with it. First off, uh, we're gonna do mailbag today and tomorrow for sure. Um, I definitely, I left a, a whole bunch of stuff I didn't even bring up here and uh, some of this stuff is out in the hallway. I might try to do this 50-50, or I might just do it all here. We'll see. Um, but one of the reasons why I want to do mailbag today and tomorrow is we've still got a lot of technical issues. I've been working on changing the stream over to a whole new system, not just a new encoder, uh, which I'm really excited about, but also the system that we use to control it has been completely rewritten. And uh, that has introduced a couple of problems, less than I probably would have expected, actually. It's gone, I think, uh, amazingly well overall. Um, but you might have noticed um, during the week we had a lot of audio lag where the sound was kind of behind what you were seeing by a long time. <laughs> and I think we found a solution to that, which I haven't 100% implemented yet. But I think as of like sometime last night, um, I, I haven't heard anybody saying that it's way off. And, you know, if it's a little bit off, I think we might just have to live with that, at least for now. Um, but um, I, I think we've solved the way off problem. I don't know if that solution applies to me right now. <laughs> so uh, it could still be way off for what I'm doing uh, at the moment. But, um, but at least we know how to, I think, deal with it in general. And I just have to make sure that then we've got that all lined up to use. So, so that's one thing that's like a real issue. And then there's a couple things that I still haven't quite wrapped up. Like, for instance, there was a tiny little uh, micro close-up yesterday that I know hasn't been uploaded anywhere because the new system isn't uh, yet set to upload those anywhere. I just, it wasn't done at all, uh, which is, doesn't take a long time, but I got to get that set up today. Uh, and then there's some really exciting stuff. I know I've talked about it for a long time, but I've, I've finally really got a system put together where we can do some of the things that I've wanted to do forever. And uh, as of this morning, it's like 75% of the way working. Um, I, I'm definitely gonna be ready to run a sort of a test on it today. And I'm so excited about that. I really wanna get to it. So my head's not entirely in the mailbag today the way that it should be, because I'm really excited about that stuff. Um, and I, I feel like not only do I owe it to you guys to, to really be present for this, you know, everybody sent stuff and it's really important to me and it's really important to the kitties and it's really important to them and it's not fair for, for me to have my head somewhere else. Um, but also, you know, I'm really excited to go do that stuff. So, so uh, that's, that's the major reason for uh, putting off most of it or uh, let's say some of it until tomorrow, um, not anything else. Uh, I feel like I had something else to say on that subject, but I feel like also, I, th I think I've covered everything pretty well, right? Um, as far as news goes, I did want to do Mailbag Today with Cash downstairs, but I realized that we've only got the one camera in that room, and I wasn't sure if the audio would be super delayed and laggy. Uh, so I decided to come up here instead, and uh, we'll just do it here for, uh, for now. And then maybe tomorrow we can do some with Cash because we still need to get Cash an adopter. And he is a sweet little kitten that, uh, that definitely needs to find his home. So uh, I guess I don't know what else to say about it. You guys all know how cute he is. But uh, we definitely need somebody to put in a Cash app, all right? I know, you think I was just waiting to say that. It's true, I was. I was just waiting to say that. Uh, but we still we really do need to get him adopted out, so... Uh, yeah, there's that. Um, also, in, in other news, uh, Crank went to the vet this week and we had her checked out because DJ and I thought that she's been having some issues pooping and we were afraid that those issues might be, um, you know, genetic, like in the sense that, that, you know, like something's not put together right. But as far as the doc can tell, everything is put together just fine, but she's really constipated. 
so the doc gave her a bunch of enemas over the course of a couple few hours and it didn't quite work everything out still. So uh, we've had her on a high dose of stool softener and uh, I, we're supposed to try to give her an enema. Now she is, she's very cranky <laughs> about things like that. Um, and uh, so I, I, don't, I don't really think that my chances of getting that done are too great, especially because um, I'm gonna need some help from DJ and, and she is the first one to like throw in the towel when a cat gets upset about something. So I just don't give our chances, uh, I don't give us very good chances of actually getting that done. On the other hand, the doc did say if we can't get it done, I can bring her back to the vet on Monday and she'll do some more. So that might end up being how it goes, we'll see. Uh, meanwhile, she's eating fine. She's, uh, you know, hanging out. She's playing. She's probably, I, I didn't go in their room this morning because DJ uh, hung out with her all morning and probably that's why she's so exhausted. But uh, uh, yeah, she's doing good, I, you know, in, in all of their senses. You can tell she's really bloated and, and I think it does bother her a little bit. But, uh, but in every other sense, as far as we can tell, she's doing great. So that's good. Okay, uh, let me take a quick look here and make sure everything's going okay, or okay-ish. All right, fair enough, good enough. I think we're good. Good, okay. So let's open some of the stuff that we do have here. I think this is good, not just for me, but also Hazel can be a little bit nervous about new things. Um, so this, I think, is gonna, gonna really uh, help expose her to some stuff. You notice what a lap kitten she's starting to be lately? Yesterday when I came in here, every time I come in now, she's more and more, she's spending more time on my lap before she decides to get off and go do something else. And uh, yesterday, she spent so much time there trying to snuggle up really close that I, I almost thought she was just gonna fall asleep on my lap, but she didn't, but it was close. Like, I think, I think any day now. So she's, she's real friendly that way. Okay, uh, well, this says International Standard Royal Mail. Okay, we know that. Let's see. I should have got out a letter opener, but I didn't. I just got my finger, you know. Let's see here. Ooh, interesting shape. It says, let's play, and it is a little kitten looking at what's probably a chick, but I think it's just a, it's a toy chick. It's just got like a fur and a felt thing, but it definitely has little uh, bird feet on it. It's very cute. I think you guys can see from that camera probably better than the floor camera. Oh, oh, and there's a donation in here, so thank you for that. I'm going to, um, I'm going to put it in our little box here. Thank you very much for that. It says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thank you so much for all you do to look after the mom cats and help raise their kittens. I've been a regular watcher and lurker since Gabby had her kittens. The donation enclosed is made on behalf of my giftee from Christmas in July and can be used as you see fit. Uh, lots of love and spoogles, extra special one for the gingers from Sarah, who is Marvin's mom on Discord. Thank you so much. Uh, I think it's really, really cool that people participate in the Christmas in July. It's a wonderful community that we have of people that really do, I think, care about each other in a way that uh, is, is important. I, it's it's touching to me. I, I really love it. And that reminds me of something else. There was a, a letter in today's mail that said not for mailbag, so I already have read it. And uh, it was basically expressing, uh, you know, thanks for inviting us to your house at KA Con. Um, and uh, um, also something that I had felt myself, which was uh, basically like, you know, I wish we had a, a little bit more time to, to chat during KA Con. Uh, because I, f I feel the same way about everybody that um, uh, it was it, it just it goes so fast and there's so many people and it's just overwhelming for me and afterwards like everything's just a blur like I don't even know what happened uh, I just went through all the stuff that people sort of brought for us that, that we'd been um, you know I, I we've obviously gone through it a little bit but uh, it was just yesterday that I, I actually went through it all there was some really cool stuff in there uh, thank you all so much for that. But uh, but really, the sentiment that I wanted to express is just um, how I, I do wish that um, I'd, I'd gotten even more opportunity to talk to everybody uh, because 
uh, you're all wonderful, interesting people, and I always have all these plans in my head about how I want to ask everybody about what, you know, what they're doing and, and all this stuff. And then I'm such a socially awkward person that when it actually comes down to it, I'm just cuckoo. Like, I can't, I, I'm just running around the house like a, like a wild person uh, trying to keep up with everything, and it doesn't go well. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it was fun, and I had a great time, and I think everybody else did too, but uh, yeah, it's definitely the way I feel. Is, uh, I wish that um, I, I could have had more opportunity to talk to everybody all the time, and I know that wasn't the thrust of the, the letter that I got, but it was something that really stood out to me because it was how I felt. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. This is Greetings from California, and I looked at this, and I thought, that looks pretty retro, and then on the back it says, reprint from 1930s, so yeah. Uh, greetings, Dr. DJ and Shiny Butler. Life's calm here in California, still plotting chicken bow and cupcake heists, even if my humans thwart my plans. Kitty frowny face. I thought moving to California meant I'd be a retired mom cat. Now I'm momming Tappy, this Maggie, and Pippa. Gotta teach these girls how to cat. Positively grumpy, Ocean. And Ocean also has uh, signed it with a paw print, a really nice paw print. You can see individual little furs in it. That's a great one. And I don't think it's a coincidence that the stamp on this is a boat uh, for a little Ocean there. Isn't that sweet? It's good to hear from her. I'm glad she's keeping up the heists. <laughs> uh, all right, this one I'm gonna actually need a letter opener for, I think. It says, okay to read on stream, and it says it is from Puddles, B Bud, Brawly, the Tiny Plants, and their staff. Uh, and there's little stickers on the back of cats wearing sweaters. Well, actually, that one might be a dress, but okay. So, let's take a look here. We always love our letters from alumni. It says, dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, mom, cats, and kittens, long time no see, original shiny butler. It's me, Puddles. Has any cat been exfoliating your skin properly since I left? Coming up soon on the 30th will be Bud, Brawly, and my one-year gotcha-versary. Wow, I can't believe it's been a year already since we left the Academy for our forever home. We're very happy here and get along great with the tiny plants and Auntie Priscilla. I love Shiny Butler 2.0, or Sir Geek as some people call him, so very much. One of my favorite things to do during his work from home days is to get on his lap during video team calls and make sure his face is clean and presentable for viewing. His co-workers seem to laugh a lot when I do, but I bet their faces aren't as clean as my man's. When I'm not in the office keeping him clean, I still love my little felt balls and spend hours carrying them up the stairs, knocking them down, and flinging myself down the stairs after them. Everyone should have a fun workout routine, right? Bud has been working on cementing his place as an honorary tiny plant. He plays chase and pounce with the boys often. He still loves his sister and plays with her daily too. And, of course, he and I have our nightly wrestling matches. How did he get so much bigger than me? I'm also very proud of his proficiency with growlies at wand toys, even if I don't quite understand the appeal of such toys yet. Brawly has grown into a lovely, long, muscular girl. She's been taking her torty lessons with Auntie Priscilla very seriously and excelling. She likes to join Auntie Priscilla at snuggling with Mom Human, which makes the human ecstatic. She says that torty purrs are magically relaxing. Brawly is also an excellent cat wheel runner and makes that thing rumble daily. It's a toss-up whether she or Fern is the better wheel cat. Bud, Brawly, and I have our yearly vet visit this week. I bet we'll be the hit of the clinic like last year. We KA kitties seem to be far more personable and cooperative than most kitties they deal with. You've taught us well. Mom thinks we'll get good reviews on our health and weights, too. The tiny plants and Auntie Priscilla are doing well, too, and say hi. The humans say to tell you that they really enjoyed talking with you at KACon and that the KA visit was as magical as ever, for which they said thank you for being so gracious to let us spend time at your home. Shiny Butler 2.0 wants to know if you've had time to get the 3D pineapple slinky cracked open. I've had time, but I haven't done it yet. I was just, I don't know what I'm saving it for. Um, but on that point, I was just looking at it yesterday because I went through all that stuff again and brought it up to my office. It's so cool. Well, I'd best get going. Shiny Butler 2.0's head isn't going to clean itself and the felt balls need carrying. Busy, busy, busy. Tell Miss Hazelnut that we're watching for her kitten's arrival. That's you, kiddo. And give Miss Gadget and Tiny Cranks boogles and boops from everyone here. Love, 
Puddles and Bud and Brawly, Thistle, Moss, Fern, Auntie Priscilla, Callie Mo, and Sir Geek. Uh, thank you guys so much. It's great to hear from uh, all of the faculty all the time. And you guys have a high percentage of the fa I mean, faculty, the alumni. You guys have a, a high percentage of the alumni over there. Uh, so that's, uh, that's a lot of kittens all in one letter. Thank you very much. Okay, well, let's open some boxes. Let's see what we got here. Um, this is, it's got Donut Cat and uh, uh, one drinking a tea and one uh, orange loaf and a little guy wearing a Mexican hat. Uh, sombrero, I guess. There we go. Hmm. Just wondering whether sombrero had a root word of like somber, which is like the opposite of what it is. Uh, I wouldn't know. Just speculating now. Okay, to read on stream. Cat! Okay, I see some excellent, excellent artwork in this. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to get to that. It's even got a crank. Oh, I can't see him. I want to wait. Okay, let's not spoil the surprise. This is adorable. It's a little orange kitten holding a teaspoon in a teacup. Look at that. It says Tea Cat Time by Pepe Rodriguez. Ah, oh, that's so cool. That's some really cool art too. I love that style. He's, that's, that's so, it's wonderful. It says, uh, let's see, I don't want to accidentally give away any names. No, there aren't any. Okay, we're good. I mean, there's names, but there aren't last names or anything. I'm not going to dox anyone. Oh, I just did. Dear Mr. A and Dr. TJ, the Edwards family, oh, no last names, is back with some more artwork for the oh so wonderful Kitten Academy. Owen and Alex have drawn pictures of one of the cutest orange cats we've ever laid eyes on, Crank. They also wanted to draw a picture of the esteemed faculty member, Maggie, or as we call her, Miss Maggles. I like Miss Maggles. This, this art, this is such wonderful art, especially this Crank. Oh my goodness, it's perfect. I hope uh, I can put these where people can see them okay. Let's try this. Let's try laying them out right here for a minute. Oh, two Cranks. Oh, it's perfect. Um, let's see here. Miss Maggles. I'm not sure if I mentioned it in our last letter, but we watched the stream from all the way out here in Kansas City. Well, the boys are out of school, we've been having a relaxing summer break, gardening, reading, watching movies, and of course, checking on our favorite kittens. I've also been working on a little embroidery project for you guys. Just a little way to say thank you for all your hard work with the cats. Like most things in life, it ain't perfect, but it's done. Take care. From uh, Rachel, Matt, Owen, and Alex. Uh, Rachel is Art Vandalay on Discord. What a great name. Oh, thank you so much. I love this art. Uh, let me check the camera angle so I can make sure everybody gets to see this really well. Um, I assume this camera's still on. So, okay, let's look at these up close. Okay, is that on? Oh, okay. Oh, oh there we go. Okay, it's a little bit... Uh, uh, I'm trying. So that's Crank, little Crank. Look at that, the detail. It's fantastic. I love his little ears sticking up too. It's so cute. Here is a little Crank. Another little Crank. There we go. And I think we've got, oh, there we go. Crank. I think we've got a bonus Crank on the back. Look at that. That is, uh, I think it was uh, a crank that, that maybe didn't quite get finished, but it's still good. Like, that's some nice work right there. Very good crank. Okay, then we also have Ms. Maggie. Oh, look at this one. This is little Maggie. Oh, there we go. I got it, kind of. It's hard to do this. <laughs> uh, I need to show it to you a little closer so you can really see the detail on her ears and that floofy tail. Oh, good detail. All right. And then this one, we've captured her spots just fine and her green eyes. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Just like the real thing, she's going to love to see this. Those are fantastic. Man. Uh, that is some great work. And now is this... Oh, okay. So you did send the embroidery project. Okay, let's see it. Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. It is beautiful. I love this like laser cut frame that you've put it in too. That's fantastic. But this is great. It's uh, it's not just cross stitch. I mean, it's like real embroidery. Oh, and you finished the back, so I don't even get to see all your knots. Wow, 
That is some really nice detail. You say it's not perfect, but uh, you probably just know where you feel like you made mistakes, because to me it looks perfect. I mean, really perfect. Wow. So, uh, let's see, am I holding that in the right place? Look at how pretty that is. I'm going to have to put that someplace nice. And I see it's got elastic on the back, so it'll be easy to hang up somewhere. There we go. I think you can see that is some fine work. Really beautiful flowers. Oh, that's so exciting. Thank you very much. I've got to put all of this together so that we keep all of this special, special stuff. In fact, I think I can tuck your notes and art back here for now. Uh, I want to put this someplace extremely special. I think it's going to go in our art cabinet in the kitchen for right now. Oh, so cool. That's really beautiful. Thank you guys so much. It's wonderful that you watch, and I'm so glad that, that you have sent that. And, uh, yeah, Kansas City is a great place, too. I guess I don't know which uh, side, you know, which one you're in, because there's, there's the two, right? There's the Missouri and the Kansas side. Um, but, uh, but it's a cool town, actually. It's, uh, it was, I think it was one of the places that DJ was applying to way back before, uh, maybe when, when it was med school time or something. I know for some reason we had talked about whether it was a place that we would be okay to live. And I was kind of excited because my mom, you know, is in Wichita, which is a pretty short drive from there. I mean, relative to Illinois or Connecticut anyway. Uh, so that would have been exciting. Anyway, all right, let's see. So this doesn't have anything special on the outside, but on the inside, it says a gift for you. Okay, well, that's, that's not really telling me anything. But, oh, it's a new P16. Well, that's interesting. I'm going to guess that this is a P16 that's for um, uh, next door neighbor Gadget. Uh, not only because it is a gadget, but because it's, she needs a lot of stimulation. And uh, the P16 is a great choice. In fact, I've been meaning to get ours out and, and let her play with it, um, but uh, I keep forgetting. It's, I, know, I think I know exactly where it is in a cabinet. I probably got to get it out and charge it up and then let her play with it. Um, but the note didn't come through. So if you sent this, whoever sent this, and if you wanted it used for something in particular, just let me know and we will make sure that it does get used that way. Uh, for now, I'm going to set it right here. And if, if I don't hear from anybody, it's probably going to go to Gadget. Speaking of, uh, I started cleaning the main room downstairs for her. Uh, I closed the doors on it. I took out the litter boxes. I vacuumed everything. I still have to sterilize it and probably change out a little bit more of the, the bedding. And, uh, you know, there's a few odds and ends to take care of. But we're going to get her moved down there really soon. And then she'll have a lot of space to play, which she really wants. She has just got so much boundless energy. It's just amazing how much energy Gadget has. This one gets up to zoom in sometimes too. I don't know if you've seen it, but usually right about the time the lights go off at night or every single time that she uses a litter box, she's got poop zoomies. She will come zooming out of the litter box. Uh, but, but at night she gets up to some serious play in here. Uh, so um, she'll probably appreciate having some more room too. Uh, I was thinking about after we get them moved downstairs, I can clean out the main annex. And, and rather than move her in there immediately, I was thinking, wait until she has her babies, and then about three or four days after, when most mom cats start to really want to start to move their babies around, we can open up the annex and see if she wants to go over there, or at least start to give her access to it. Um, and then maybe if we end up moving her babies from here to the annex, she will um, not feel the urge to move them around herself so much like some mom cats do. I don't know, it's just a thought, since things are kind of arranged that way, I thought that might work out as something to try. Who knows? But let's open another here. Oh, this one's uh, got, it's heavy and it's got a battery warning on the outside. So it must be something, another kind of gadgety thing. Let's see here. Oh, that's no, it's not. Uh, I mean, there might be a gadget in here, but th the heavy thing is Churu. Wow, a whole jar of Churu and Tiki Cat Sticks. Ooh, Tiki Cat. They're making churus now, too. Huh? That's some good stuff. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here, too, with a pile of notes. So let's see what they say. It says... Okay, uh, that's one note. Hang on. Ah, uh, 
Okay, good. Oops, oh, this goes here. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Uh, and there should be one more note, I think. No, there's not, though. I went through them all, didn't I? I did. Well, we'll figure it out if there's not another one. Hide. Oh, there is. Aha! I knew it. Okay, so let's start here. Uh, we have... We have... Churu for the Churu Lovers Enjoy from for the Professor. Okay, from Professor. Churu Lovers Enjoy. Perfect. One of my favorite lickables for those who have distinguished taste or would like to try something new from Professor. Then we have, excuse me, Felt Toys. This is, wow, these are cool. They've got, they're not just felt balls. They each have a little, like, tassel. Well, two of them have little tassels. Wacky Woolies Felted Cat Toys. Um... Felt toys for deployment in both annexes for the two new classes and cat dancers for endowments of Gadget, Crank, and Hazelnut from Professor and Bellamy. Uh, uh, from, uh, let's see, and da -da 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 -da, Crank, Gadget, Crank, Hazelnut from Professor and Bellamy. Okay, perfect. Uh, Professor and Bellamy, thank you so much. And these are the... Cat dancers. I don't know why there was a battery warning on that. Maybe that's uh, more for like shipping the. So weird. Oh, not restricted as of special provision A A123. Well, that is the one that says, you know, that's the one that gives you an exemption for batteries, isn't it? That's so weird. Who knows? All right. So uh, these are really cool. I should put one out here right now for her. I think we're going to give her this one with the feather and give them the one with the strings. I think so. That's what we're going to try. So let's put that right there. These look really cool. And this one I'm going to put in my pocket so it goes with me. And then we kind of have a spare here, um, which uh, we could put next door or I could put out in the house somewhere. We'll figure it out. I'll put it in my pocket for now. Okay. There we go. And then you guys are familiar with the cat dancer. Um, I guess we can take one out to show you. It is a wire. It's just a wire with a piece of cardboard on the end, which I know doesn't sound like much, but it is one of the best cat toys. They go crazy for it. It is, uh, to this day, one of Eddie's favorite toys in the whole world. And I think a lot of other cats, too. So we've always got a couple of them around. Here we go. This packaging is nice in that it's not, it's not too much. Um, so as you can see here, it's wound up, but it's just a wire and with a bunch of little cardboard uh, rolls on either end and a couple that are kind of swinging around here. Uh, I think you can see that. I hope I'm holding it where you can kind of see it. Um, anyway, uh, it's, it's, cats are crazy for it. It's a great toy. So there's one of these for each of them. And I should probably label them because who knows how many kittens are going to be here by the time I get around to sorting these endowments. Uh, so, these are wonderful. I'm just going to write Gadget, Crank, and Hazelnut. Why did I have to look again to see who this was for? Uh, is it E-L or L-E? Okay, it says E-L there. I'm going to go with that. That sounds right. Goodness. Okay. All right. For now, I'm going to put these in here because that's a good box to use. We're going to put this in here. We're doing, uh, we've done a half an hour. So I think I am going to stop right after this last box. And uh, actually, let me take a look. There might, let me just take a look real quick at what I left in the hall. Give me one sec. Uh, here we go. Hang on. Okay, there was one more package out there that was not a drop shipment, so I thought we'd grab that one too. Um, but then everything else, as far as I can tell, uh, is stuff that was sent uh, to us from people from Amazon. So uh, we'll save that stuff for tomorrow. This says it is from uh, Ubinam Rosarium, which I am certainly mispronouncing because everything I mispronounce. <laughs> and... 
Let's just, oh, meow. It says meow and there's a kitty on the back. All right, so first off we have, oh, we got a Brooklyn Neighborhood News. Very cool. Hmm. Uh, I'm excited to take a look at that. Put it right there. It says, interesting, on the back there is an article about Maggie McKenzie, the women's coach for aging. I never needed to be coached. I, it's just something that comes naturally to me, I guess. I got talent, natural talent. I've been aging for a while. Uh, <laughs> all right, this says one per faculty cat for the felt mice. I thought there would be a note in here. Let's take a look. Oh, oh, there it is. There's some paper anyway. Let's see, what is all this? Oh, for DJ from Gifty Kitty, a local shop with cat themed gift for skin. Okay, well, we'll get to that in just a second. Oh, look at this. We got Love Some As You See Fit cat treats. Perfect. Well, look at all these chewers. We're going to have to start giving those out like crazy. Uh, this is also for DJ. Look at that. It is a little kitty lanyard uh, thing. But also, I think would make a cool cat toy. It's got a clip on it, so you could just kind of carry it around with you and then have a cat toy all the time. It says, Kitten Kazoodle, cute kitty minis crocheted with love. 10% of sales go to cat adoption team. Aw, a local cat-only rescue org. That's so cool. Cat adoption team is a great name for it, too. Oh, you can have one made uh, that looks just like your kitty. How cool. Kitty Crochet Club. Hmm. Kitten Kazoodle. Uh, K-A-Z-O-E-D-L-E. So Kitten Kazoodle, maybe? You can say it however you want, can't you? I can't anyway. Who's going to stop me? Ha! Huh. Okay, uh, for Dr. DJ, but okay to read during mailbag. Oh, good, I noticed that. In a little drawing of the KA logo kitty, it says, Happy birthday! Wow, look at that. That's some bright color. Inside it says, Dr. DJ, happy belated birthday! I remember before the fact, but did not make it to the post office until today. The gifts for you are a small thank you for all you do, mostly off camera for all the KA felines. Uh... Let's see, something for, oh, uh, something for, and for tolerating the K.A. Con, yes, home twice uh, in three days, yes, uh, Ubanam Rosarium. P.S. I hope you enjoyed the YouTube video of cats wishing you a happy birthday that I posted on Discord last Sunday. Well, I'll make sure that she did see that, because I don't think I did. Uh, thank you so much, yes, uh, she, she definitely... Um, uh, I wouldn't say tolerated. I think she had as much fun as I did while everybody was here. So, um, thank you for that. Let's take a look here and see what this is too. And we will send, uh, give this to her in a minute. Ooh. Oh, that's so cute. From Gifty Kitty Local Shop with cat themed gifts for humans, as you say. And this is some cute little tiny stuff. Oh, by the way, wow, one of those things that I sorted out yesterday that I had not seen, I don't think, previously. Look at that, a cute little... I am a bookmark, too. Well, what are you first, then? Oh, an ad for Gifty Kitty. And a bookmark. How cool. Portland, Oregon. Um, one of the things that was there yesterday was an entire bag of little tiny miniature, like, kitties and, and home stuff and, like, all this... Just little tiny miniatures of all kinds of stuff. And I, I put it in DJ's office for her to see. And I told her she had to go in there and look at it. And I don't think she did, because she came home... Yesterday was, like, brutal for her. So she didn't come home until really late, and she wasn't feeling it. Um, but uh, today, I'm going to make sure that she gets in there and sees it, because it's so cool. I was impressed. Uh, all right, so we have a little tiny Portland, Oregon button. And look at that. It's, uh, it's a little tiny kitten in a box, and he looks just like Teaspoon. He's got the little Teaspoon face on. I hope you can see that. I hope I'm holding it in the right spot. I'm just guessing. He's so tiny and cute. Oh, she's going to love it. I bet that probably will go right on her bedside table. So I'm going to put all that right here to take over to DJ. Ubanam, thank you so much uh, for all of that. Oh, this is also to go to her. Perfect. You eat so much. It's good to see that you eat so much and uh, has good poops. It's so rare these days. It feels like the, the definitely the exception for us to have a cat come in that has nice poops. But let me tell you, this one has the nice poops. 
Uh, it's, it's great to see. Uh, if only your next door neighbor had some of that going on. She, she has the worst poops. We've got the best poops and the worst poops. It was the best of poops. It was the worst of poops. I should be an author. People would love to read my books. <laughs> okay, what am I even doing? Okay, let's add these over here to the pile and then we can bring this all around at once. And there's one more box that we're gonna open today and then the rest of it, like I said, we're gonna do tomorrow. Uh, apologies to anybody that sent something that they really wanted to have open today. Did I just combine trash with stuff that's not trash? I certainly did. Okay, let's fix that. Uh, as, as I was saying, uh, I'm so sorry for, for folks that sent stuff that they wanted tuning in, waiting to see open today. I'm sorry, um, but we'll get you tomorrow. And I know that the, the volunteers get those mailbags uploaded really fast these days. So if you can't watch tomorrow, don't worry. Um, you won't have to wait long to see it. Uh, but I am. I, I definitely apologize for that. Uh, okay. I'm going to put the pen in here. This arrived straight to the house. And uh, I just wanted to I bring it up because it was the first thing we got. It seemed like it should be in the first set of stuff that we opened. But also then I looked at it for the first time. And if it's what it says on the outside, I think DJ's going to want to deploy this right away. And I don't think there's going to be a note in here, um, but I do think, um, like I said, uh, or did I say? It says on the outside, it is from Trouble and Carrie. So Trouble and Carrie, thank you very much for sending this box that is, that is, oh, it is exactly what it shows on the outside of the package. It is a cat tree that is made to look like a living room with a sofa and a lamp. Uh, it's sort of like this, but here's the picture of the actual, well, it's not a picture, that's a rendering, but okay, this is a picture of the actual thing. Look at that, it's a big yellow, uh, I guess more of an armchair than a sofa even, and a lamp, just like this. It looks almost like something from a cartoon, like something Homer Simpson would sit in. It is adorable, and I know DJ loves that kind of thing. I love that kind of thing. Uh, you know, we've got that cardboard thing and I made that little lamp that we put next to it that gets knocked over constantly because it's not a lamp. <laughs> uh, it doesn't stand up very well. And when I say I made it, I mean I took a doorstop and an actual tiny lampshade and put them together because I can make things. Uh, so look at that, it comes with a bonus pearl necklace for your little kitten. And it's got a purple heart on it. That is adorable. Oh, I think that the only one here that we could really wear that is Miss Maggie. I don't know. We don't judge. Maybe Teaspoon wants to wear a pearl necklace like this. Who knows? That is the cutest little purple amethyst heart on there. I hope I'm showing this to anybody. I'm trying. There we go. Okay, like that. And then I just got to take a look at the rest of this because I know DJ's going to want to put this out right away today. Let's have a quick look at the parts anyway. Oh, okay, so the lamp shade is just a solid object. There's not actually anything there, but the lamp pull cord, of course, is a toy. So clever. This is great. So they can stand on top of the lamp shade, which, by the way, is something they do try to do. We've got the, the super tall lamp in the bedroom that you guys probably have seen once in a while. It's really high up there, and I moved it where the top... Uh, the lamp part was directly over the cat beds that are in there, the, the tree that's in there. And so one of the kittens, I think it was Cash, tried to jump on it, uh, you know, a month or two ago when he was smaller and not quite as aware of things. And of course, you can't jump onto a hanging lamp. It's a hanging lampshade. It just, it just, whoop, and he fell. He was fine. It's, you know, it's fine. It's how you learn these things. Uh, but it's good. So this is solid and they can get right up on there. And then this is the, obviously the chair part, all packed away. It's probably gonna take some time to floof up and then a big blue base and that's the whole thing. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. I, I think that's gonna be beautiful. I think if I show this to DJ, she's gonna wanna put it up someplace right away. Uh, and I think it's really clever too. So Trouble, Carrie, thank you both so much for this. You guys have done so many wonderful things to us since you've been adopted. Uh, that's fantastic. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, that was today's mailbag, folks. Uh, once again, I, I truly am uh, apologetic for putting off some of it until tomorrow, but um, uh, I feel like it had to be done uh, because of so many reasons. So, 
so I'm going to get to that. Let me uh, put this stuff away and uh, switch the cameras back. And we're going to try to get some of those tech issues hammered out today and uh, maybe even some fun stuff uh, in for testing. So we are going to see about that unless you decide to interrupt everything by delivering some babies. Is today the day? What do you think, huh? You feel pretty full of kittens. Let's see. No, it's just sort of randomly lumpy though. I can't tell. I don't feel anything that feels like it's definitely a kitten. I just feel stuff that feels like it's intestines. She's feeling kind of tight though. Okay. You've had lots of babies before, I can tell. I say lots, I don't know. I can tell she's had babies before. That's all I can tell. I know. Well, thank you for letting me check, though. Thank you. Yeah, you're a good girl. Yeah, okay. Hi. Yeah, oh, big snugs. Okay. Bruh. Bruh. All right, let me switch back to the regular mic. Before I forget, there we go. That should have done it. And then uh, I gotta take this stuff out. And now is when you're gonna get sweet and get on my lap, huh? You really sort of only have time for me when I'm paying full attention to you, huh? Yeah, I know. I've seen it when I come in here and I'm looking at my phone and you'll get petted for a while, but then you're like, ah, he's not going to just give me both hands. And then I'm going to go. All right. These are flying balance. I should actually just label, well, I don't know. I just don't. All right, we'll get it. I was thinking I don't want to take it all the way to the basement right now, but I also don't want to get it confused for trash again because that would be bad. So we'll see. Okay, I'm getting up, kiddo. I'm getting up. Here we go. Let me take this straight to DJ. Oh, hang on. Okay. No. Ah. No. Oh. Dropping, dropping, dropping. Hey guys, I am so dumb. I was showing this all to DJ and she took one look at this and she says, oh, it's lovely, it's daisies. She loves daisies, This the, the embroidery. Uh, she said, oh, it's lovely, it's daisies, and it's a paw print. And I looked and I'm like, wait a minute, that's a paw print. <laughs> I didn't, I don't know how I didn't see it. It's beautiful, isn't it? I hope you guys can see that from there. 
That is so cool. DJ loves it. And so, in fact, I was just going to come back in here and tell you how dumb I am. But she's like, no, take it so everybody can see. So, all right. Uh, yeah, she thinks it's great. The, the daisies. She lo like I said, she loves daisies. Okay, there we go.
DJ is already putting that sofa together, although it looks like it's going to take some time to uh, become reconstituted from its compressed condition. <coughs> I'll come back to those churus. Don't eat them all while I'm gone, okay?
Bye. All right, hopefully I get a chance to come back soon and play some video games with you. I got my knife. Okay. Oh, well, okay. Just don't do anything I wouldn't do, like have kittens.